So I updated my camera to the latest version, 201. It is supposed to fix a USB 3.1 connectivity issue, which I was not aware of. Um, I made this screenshot before I actually went ahead and did the update. Um, so update is done. And what they don't tell you in the release notes is that they actually added a new menu for USB. Um, and it's in the connections tab. So go into your preferences, they go to connections, and then you see it right here, it's called USB connection. By default, this is set to GoPro connect. It's some kind of a setting which is used for using this as a, as a streaming device from the camera to the computer. I am not familiar with that. I'm So I, I can't give any details about that. However, when it's set to this setting, I'm going to plug this in. I'm using a standard USB-C data cable here. Um, it's not going to show up in image capture and it's also not going to show up in iMovie. Um, these are the two apps I use. Um, I don't use any of the GoPro uh, apps. So to fix this problem, I'm going to unplug this again and I'm going to go change that setting to MTP. I don't know what MTP stands for. If anybody does, um, it would be awesome if you can put that in the comments. Um, might be interesting and might be useful. So I'm gonna plug this back in. And now it should show up again. There we go. And also up here, you can see that in iMovie, it's actually being recognized again. So it's a super simple fix. Uh, however, it's a little bit of a sad thing that um, it wasn't included in the actual release notes or change notes. Um, that's basically what these notes are for. <laughs> Tell people what you changed so they know. You know. Anyway, um, GoPro, um, this is not the first time that I have these kind of weird things. Um, also, uh, one of my friends, he actually uh, had this update already installed and was filming. And he uses the quick capture a lot. So you have it in, in a specific setting, um, then you turn it off. And as soon as you click this button once, it starts recording in that mode, which is probably what most people use uh, use to record their stuff, especially when they're you know cycling and stuff. Um, and after a few you know, takes, it just wouldn't turn on anymore at all. He could click this, he could use the power button, but it just wouldn't turn on anymore. The only fix for that is to actually, in the field, open up the battery compartment, pop the battery for like a couple seconds, put it back in, and then you can turn the camera back on again. So that's another fix um, for a problem that is happening when you um, update to this version as well, which I didn't fix, or I don't know if it was there before, um, but anyway, it's just annoying. So GoPro is not really uh, pro in that essence, or in that sense, I guess. Um, they bring out new models every now and then, uh, or actually almost every year. And the thing is that you know, they change the form factor of the camera almost every single time. I mean, they did it now for um, uh, the older versions to the five, then they changed it in the six. Uh, it stayed the same for the seven, which is really awesome because everybody that bought the six they could use all their accessories from their six for their new seven, which is was super great. Um, but then they came out, everything changed again. Um, and now the nine has come out and again, it looks different. It has a different body. So the accessories probably for my eight are probably not gonna fit on the on the nine. Um, so I'm gonna have to buy all that again if I decide to get a nine, um, which I'm not. Um, I don't, I don't wanna, you know, keep spending my money on the accessories, first of all. Second of all, it's just a waste of materials. It's a waste of polymer. It's it's adding to this trash bomb problem that we already have. Um, and these electronics do, in my opinion, get obsolete a bit more too quick um, if you compare what kind of materials are being used for these devices. So, I mean, that's just my opinion. And you hear I'm ranting here about GoPro right now. Uh, but yes, for real, um, I'm, I'm happy with this camera, but as soon as this one gives up, if it dies, I'm probably going to spend some time on looking on other companies that also make action cameras these days, which probably are going to be either 
you know, much more, you know, cheap to get by it or come by with the same qualities. Um, hopefully not with these kind of release notes and stuff and that those kind of bugs. Um, but yeah, I, I, I hope that, you know, other companies are not going to co keep copying the big guys and just do everything for the money. Um, we ain't got time for that. Who, who, who wants to use their cameras in an, in an outdoor environment that is full of trash and, you know, that kind of stuff. So anyway, hope this helps. Thanks for listening to my rant. If you made it this far and, uh, Enjoy the rest of your day. Take care. Bye-bye.